new football national champion making take by Mary Coe Bracers and Junior Scholars. It's all ahead on the IGS Nation. <laughs> Good morning, good up, Gordon School. Welcome to Argus News with Miles Tabor. Today, we're going to out of bounds weather and rain here in school. And now for Argus number one news team. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Miles, for our yes. top story today, I understand that we have a group of 8th graders that accomplished something pretty amazing. That's right, Jay. Argus had 13th 8th graders named Junior Scholars. And what does that mean? That means they scored a 550 or higher on the evidence-based reading and writing portion of the PSAT. Or scored a 530 or higher in the math portion of the PSAT. It's a really big deal. The South Carolina Junior Scholars Program identifies 8th grade students with exceptional academic talent. The program some Sponsors summer opportunities in collaboration with participating South Carolina colleges and universities and with the Governor's School for Science and Mathematics. Congratulations to the Renzi Anderson, Reeves Bernua, Christian Dokowitz, Nick Fan, Evan Fisher, Laurel Fisher, Jillian Hug, Jeremy Lawrence, Caleb Merman. Amelia Myrtle, Aiden Page, Madison Threat, Cadence Zabin. I'm Camden Ingold and I'm here with Cadence Zabin. How do you feel about scoring so high on the PSAT? Um, well, it's something I didn't really expect and I'm just excited to like uh, get the Junior Merit Scholarship. Like, scholar, I think. How do you feel scoring so high on the PSAT? I feel good because um, it was hard, and I thought I got a low score, but I didn't, so, okay. yeah. And now for weather with Mariana Brown. Today we have a high of 55 with a low of 35. Sunset will be around 5 30. Six, six, seven, and eighth graders, our first lunch make and take is tomorrow, and it's binary code bracelet. Sign up using the form on the library. We are learning a little bit about binary coding and creating beaded bracelets with hidden code. We are limited to six students per grade level, so sign up soon and we'll get you a pass to attend or let you know you're on the wait list. The RGS basketball teams are back in action tonight at Bryson at 6 p.m. Come and support the Gators. January 12th from 6 to 9 p.m. is Family Fun Night at Spare Time Greenville. RGS Betty Club will attend and compete at National Betty Club, South Carolina Junior Convention tomorrow through 13th. 8th grade students, listen up. If your parents are interested in Pershing Park, Purchasing a yearbook ad for you, now is the time. All ads must be purchased and created by February 3rd to be included in this year's book. There will be no school on Friday 13th and Monday 16th. For Riley's Rally, remember to wear pink on Wednesday, January 18th, and collect donations for Greenville Humane Society for Friday um, 1 through 20. Riley loves to donate to the animal shelter, paper towels, Blankets, dog, dog toys, toys, puppy, puppy pads, pads, pet supplies. supplies. There will also be a change and donate momentarily through Venmo. Today's lunch menu is natural bar, taco beef, seasoned chicken, fruit, and vegetable bar. And now from Brayden Goon with sports. Slam, that's really all you can say about the TCU versus Georgia game. Bulldogs beat Horn Frogs 65 7, culminating in a two back to back national championships for Georgia. Today's Together Tuesday, 7th graders are creating board games as a group in science class. Let's check it out for their final product. So, how do you think the board game project will help students with the benchmark? Um, it will definitely help in the fact that the students will see a larger group, a larger encompassing of how this process works. Cellular respiration and photosynthesis are dependent on each other. And while you look at it on Word, you look at it on in a textbook, you look at it in a quiz, the doing of, the seeing of it working together is much more effective than simply taking a test. Hi, I'm Jay Williams and I'm here with Arden Jackson. And Arden, tell me what you're doing for your project. Okay, so you have to make a board game with the processes of cellular respiration and photosynthesis. So ours is called a plant slide and it maps through this 
the journey of a little, how it goes from photosynthesis and how it goes to cellular respiration. All right, thank you, Arden. You're welcome. Yeah, I do that. And daily. And daily, we try. Oh. <clears throat> if you give Rinzi. a mouse a cookie, Lord, if you give a mouse a cookie. I'm for the one where if you give a mouse a crayon. Be quiet. Next. Okay.